Greetings to my fellow members of the National Association of Pediatric Nurse Practitioners. As we start to get into the last quarter of 2020, I am sure many of you out there like me could not have imagined that the year of the nurse and the nurse midwife would have gone quite as it has. We have all faced challenges we could not have imagined and we have found strength and resilience and tenaciousness and innovation that I'm sure we didn't know that we had either. Nursing will always find a way to rise up and to meet the challenges of tomorrow, no matter how great those challenges are. I'm very grateful to be part of an organization of pediatric professionals where optimism is the rule of the day. And just as there is so much going on in our profession, in our personal lives, and in our world, there is a lot going on here at NAPNAP too. We have also found ways to be innovative and resilient and rise up and meet the challenges of tomorrow. So some of the things that we have going on are busyness in our chapters and our SIGs. I know many of you as leaders have found ways to be innovative, to continue meeting, despite meeting restrictions in person and found ways to transfer those things online. I would encourage you to re-engage with your local chapter and with your SIG uh, and see what's going on and what are ways that you can provide leadership in your community and your state and your practice and what are resources that they may have to help you as a professional member of this organization. We are also planning our fall virtual conference, building on the success of our spring virtual conference. We had thought you know, maybe we might have 500 for the virtual conference because of the short time frame, but we far exceeded that expectation and had well over 2,000 attendees, our highest attendance for any conference ever. And so we're looking to leverage that and transition that to the fall. So if you haven't registered for our fall symposia, then do that. We are talking all things Orlando and all things next March and what our conference will look like, whether it will be virtual, whether it will be in person, whether it will be both. And rest assured, we'll have that information for you as soon as we have it. A really exciting development is the new Team Peds Talks, which is our podcast focused on child health equity. This launched this week. You can find it on our PEDCE Center. You can also find it anywhere you can find a podcast on Spotify, on Google, on Apple, and you can listen every Tuesday we will release a new episode where we talk to members across the country who are doing amazing things to impact child health equity. And so the first one is on there. We have a member from Washington who works with, with youth in the juvenile justice system. We have a lot of school-based health coming your way, people that work with food insecurity, with poverty, with discrimination, with civic engagement. But the best part about this is that it's absolutely free to you, and it's free to anyone else who wants to listen. So if you want to share this with your colleagues, if you want to share this with your students, with your other faculty, if you listen to all, uh, all 16 episodes, that's eight hours of free continuing education that you can get. And you will also get a certificate of child health equity completing our curriculum for the National Association of Pediatric Nurse Practitioners. They're fun, they're engaging, and they're free, they're informative. So I encourage you to listen to Team Peds talk. I also encourage you to join us for our next town hall that will be next month. We've already had one on the impacts of COVID across the country on pediatric patients and healthcare providers. We had a really great town hall this week on the impacts of racism and child health, where we had the co-authors of the landmark paper from the American Academy of Pediatrics join us to talk about their experiences and their knowledge. And next month, we'll be having one to talk all things COVID vaccine and what is on the horizon for that. So I encourage you to join us. Also coming up, we have our new marketing and branding campaign where our themes have just been innovation and, and evolution. And September 17th, you won't want to miss it. Mark your calendars. If all things COVID permits, we will be debuting our new logo and some exciting ways in which you can be a part of sharing the brand and the message and the leadership and innovation of the National Association of Pediatric Nurse Practitioners. Also, uh, your executive board has been working hard to think of what we can do to be further leaders in conversations on child health equity and issues of child health. 
And so as part of our work in the last year, we had a diversity and inclusion task force that the executive board has now voted to elevate to the status of a diversity, equity, and inclusion standing committee. So be paying attention for information coming your way that will tell you how you can be a part of that. We are committed here at the National Association of Pediatric Nurse Practitioners to our core values of advocacy for children, respect and accountability for our members and our partners, commitment to diversity, inclusion, and equity, dedication to lifelong learning, innovation in practice and research, visionary leadership, passion for our practice, and professional integrity. So during this time, we know that many of you have been impacted economically by COVID, but we need your voice now more than ever. So if you're a nurse practitioner out there, and maybe you have not been economically impacted and you want to gift a membership to somebody that has, we would love that because now more than ever, we need our collective voices as nursing to provide leadership and to impact the way forward in conversations and national dialogue that is going to impact child health for years to come. We thank you so much for your membership. We thank you for everything you do as experts in pediatrics and advocates for children.